<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Josh and Jason Monday Christian and Conspiracy Podcast Show. I'm your host, Josh Monday. If you don't know me, I'm a Christian rapper, devoted husband, father, and army veteran. I'd like to introduce you to my co-host. He's a Christian, devoted husband, and father. My brother, what's up, Jason? Uh, what's up, man? Good morning. It's uh, it's early, early. You know, uh, four 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 thirty over here in California. So. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Got a lot of things to do today. Got a lot of stuff to discuss. For Let's sure. Let's do welcome, this, you guys. Welcome, Darius. Welcome, David. Welcome back again. Uh, nice to see you guys again. Hope, uh, hope you guys are blessed. And uh, yeah. Going. So, first off, we have uh, we have Darius from the U G L Y. Hold on, the U G L Yoshua podcast. My yes. bad, Darius. You good, brother? <laughs> good morning. How's it going, bro? I'm going good, man. Glad to be back, man. Thank you for having me again. No problem. And then next up, we have uh, Jesus Freak Computer Geek, David Beverly Sr. Uh, he just wrote a book called The Coming Flood of AI, The Rise of the Nephilim Spirit. Uh, and it's available now. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, this is These are returning guests. Uh, these these brothers are definitely blessed by by God to uh, to be able to teach. I've, I've listened to the UGLY Yeshua podcast for uh for a while now actually and and they've came on on a on a few different occasions also jesus free computer geek has been on and support these gentlemen you know check out please subscribe to their channels um jesus free computer geek is one channel and then the ugl yeshua podcast or you all is it can you repeat it real quick uh yeah Darius, so it, it's it's, for me bro yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, he's killing that stuff, man. <laughs> sorry yeah, i'm not just worried it word. Uh, <laughs> It's u.g.l.yeshua on YouTube. <laughs> see, go. see, I, I would say u.g.l.y. Man, it's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, you if, if, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't really, you don't really uh, got to put the dots in there, but yeah. Yeah. You well, I thought you guys, I thought you guys would once in a while call it the ugly truth once in a while. Mm. Well, yeah, well, we we call our show the ugly show. That's yeah. like that's just the one right. portion of yeah. the whole ministry. So yeah. and my, my brother Junior had a little segment called the Ugly Truth. So you're yeah. you're right on that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And so also guys. you could catch me um on my solo handles, Darius, J C I T B T V Giles, uh oh, TikTok, uh Instagram, Facebook. Yes. All right. Yeah, definitely. And subscribe to their YouTubes and their Instagrams, all that stuff. So, all right. And today, guys, we want to have like a little round table uh, on the Trinity. OK, um, as far as I know, me, Darius, David and then Jason. Are, I don't know if Jason's a 100 percent on the Trinity yet, because we've been, we've we've had a few shows on this before, but I wanted to kind of clarify some things. And, and I wanted to make sure that, you know, we have some brothers on that are all for the Trinity, because. I've had a few Trinity shows where there's opposing views and we kind of go back and forth and it gets crazy, yeah. but <clears throat> we just want to have a, you know, an excellent show and, uh, you know, and just, just praise God the whole time. And, and every time Amen. we have these brothers on, we have a great show, you know? So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, we could start it off. Uh, I could start off if you guys would like, you know, uh, first off, go for I, it, brother. we want to kind of uh, prove the deity of Jesus, you know? So, that way people know that he's, he wasn't just born in the womb, you know, like uh, Unitarians would say, uh, born a man and just given this power, you know. So uh, first verse I would like to start out with that. We could just go verse by verse, guys, if you guys would like. And, and I'll start out with the first verse. Uh, we have uh, John 20, 27 through 29. It says, uh, then saith he to Thomas, reach hither thy finger and behold my hands and reach hither thy hand and trust into the, my side. And be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and unto him, my Lord and my God. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me and thou hast believed, blessed are they that have not seen and yet believed. Um, okay, so first off, what I would say is this is when Jesus uh, comes back. You know, he's after he resurrected after three days. First off, I would like to say this. There's an example of when John in Revelation uh, bowed down to an angel and when he fell down to worship an angel, the angel told him, told him, okay. do not worship me. That's right. Worship God. So what like, right. I would like to say is this would be an immediate rebuke from Jesus if he said, my Lord yeah. and my God. Jesus yeah. would have said, stop that. Worship your, you know, worship God the Father. Do not call me God. That would be mm -hmm. an immediate rebuke, but it did not yeah. happen. So that's, that's right. my mm -hmm. first verse. Uh, next up, uh, uh, Dave uh, or Darius, if you, if you like to go for um, next, and then Jason yeah. and then David. Yeah, I'll go first. Um, before I just get into the verse really quick, I just wanted to throw out there, you know, the, the Unitarians, oneness um, group, they hold, you know, to the one God, as we also hold 
go to the one God, which is called the Shema. So, and that reads uh, Deuteronomy 6, 4 and says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. So Amen. when we when we speak about, I don't really like to use the word Trinity because it gets everybody in a frenzy. So I like to call it the Godhead. Um, right. When we talk when we talk about the Godhead, we understand that we serve one God. Yep. You know, we just say He's di distinctive in His being. He's complex in His being. You know yes. what I'm saying? So we don't serve three separate gods. You know, it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and they're all Amen. complex in their unity. So right on, we just want to throw that out there. And as in um, just getting back to the Shema real quick, when we say one, the word here is is um ahad, which in the kid it doesn't necessarily mean one figure, it can mean a complex, it can be a diverse element, a whole one another or another. So just as in Genesis it says, as a husband and wife come together as one, we understand that those are two yes. personal distinctive beings, but they come together as one. So when we say we believe in the one true God, we're just saying he's complex in his unity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So I just want to start off with that. So Dave, Amen. You Let's go. There. Yeah, that's perfect. That's right on, bro. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, David. Good point. Good point. Uh, did you want to go with the reverse, Darius? Just, just. We're, okay. Just um, reverse. Yeah. So um, first, I would like <sighs> to get into the fact that um, Jesus pre-existed before God. Let's so do I love yeah. you guys, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, some of the people would like to say that he was just the thought that came into being. And, you know, he is the messenger of the father, but he doesn't have that deity and he wasn't around before time. So one of the the um, things that I would like to read is John 17, 3, 5. And it says, this is the eternal life that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the Amen. world ex existed. So right here, this is one of them verses that is proof that Jesus pre-existed. All things were made through him, for him, and by him. He was always with the Father, eternal, wasn't created. He's been there because he shares that complex unity with God, and Jesus is God, the Son. Can, can, I, can I touch on that same, yes, sir. same vein of thought? Yes, sir. I swear, man, brother. I, I I don't know what kind of time you guys put in on on your studies, but every time I hear you and your brothers and your and, and speak, and I see what Holy Spirit has done, it comes out of you. I, I am I'm like my heart wells up. You guys, you guys <laughs> just nail it. I mean, you're, 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 you're so sound and solid in your doctrine and understanding. And, and I'm in agreement with you that when we say Trinity, I don't know why this is. Everybody gets tweaked out like, oh, that's, that's right. Catholicism, that's Catholics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and the Godhead is, is a good way to, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's kind of like, because I've come to understand, for example, that there are actually many gods, little G gods, mm -hmm. and, God is the most high. And so a lot of times I I, I always say the most high, yeah, the most right. high. I don't just say God. Well, God, mm -hmm. who, what God, the right. most high. Mm -hmm. And and when you said here, O Israel, our, our Lord is one, you know, the Israels, the Israels, the, the Hebrews today in Israel uh, actually hold it against Christianity how mm -hmm. dare you say that there are three gods? And right. you're saying we're not saying there are three gods. It's it's three persons in right. one. Okay, the Godhead, just like my brother mm -hmm. said. But um, and then you said he was before he was he was with God, right? John, right? In right. the beginning was the word, the word was right. with God, and the word was God. Was he God. is God. And then we go on as we read further down. I think is it verse sixteen? I think seventeen. I think right. Maybe John. When it says, "And the Word became, became flesh." flesh. Amen. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. now, forever, pastors have held up a Bible and said, "I hold before you the living Word of God." No, folks. Mm -hmm. No, Jesus is the living Word of God. Mm -hmm. No offense towards our Bibles. I, 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 I can say this because I've read the Bible. Mm -hmm. That the Bible is Scripture. It, it's not the living word. Jesus is the living word of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, right. but 
talking about Jesus always being with God and he was before the earth was founded. We can come to Revelation 13. Mm. Revelation 13, we go uh, verse 8. All who dwell on the earth will worship him whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain before slain before the foundation of the world is what it mm. says in King James. Okay? So I have, I actually touch on that in my book. And can I just show it real quick? Yeah, go for oh, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it. Oh, hold on. Let me uh, share screen. Cool. I want to show you. It's it's something that what I call like secreted. Okay. <laughs> so um, right here, this is this is the prologue section. Can you guys see that? Yep. Yes, sir. Okay. We can see. So it, yep. it, it went, now a lot of people are like, well, you know, we read English, we don't read Hebrew. Well. You know, study to show yourself approved, a workman lacking nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, it's it's not a hard task to want to seek more of Jesus, at least in my mind, right? This is something I get a lot of joy out of when I see more of Jesus in the scripture. So I look at it in the in the original Hebrew. So we know in, in Genesis 1, it says in the beginning, uh, uh, God created the heavens and the earth. That's that's mm. pretty plainly stated, right? Makes sense. But when we see it in the Hebrew, it says it says Bereshit. Uh, it says uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Bereshit vara Elohim et. That's first and last, right? Mm. And it says Hashemayim, which is like many waters. Okay. Uh, and then it says Va et. And the last word is Aretz, which is which is which is earth, dry land, the earth. Right, mm -hmm. but va'et, huh? Well, first of all, we know that Jesus in the Scripture is called the first and the last. Yeah. Okay. Revelation and the middle, 19. this middle uh, 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 statement is not translated in English. Et, that's the first letter and the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. The first and the last. So it's talking about Jesus. But when we come to the the uh, Hashemayim is the heavens va'et. Uh, uh, va'et ha'aretz that's the earth va is a vav look at, right here vav mm. and then aleph tav so vav means nailed or fastened mm -hmm. this shows in the very beginning of scripture that Jesus was the lamb slain nailed before the mm -hmm. foundation of the earth yes sir right in Genesis 1 folks because mm -hmm. I here, here's the thing about you, you guys know the, the whole doctrine of, of 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 first mention in scripture. I don't think it's called first mention, but mm -hmm. you know where the first time something gets mentioned, it kind of defines how it's mentioned throughout the rest throughout of scripture. This, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. I don't know, at least I can't think of it off the top of my head, where the lamb who was slain before the foundation of the earth in Revelation 13. Uh -huh. Where's that mentioned in Old Testament or anywhere else in the Bible? Where's it mentioned? It's like, it's just a new concept thrown out in Revelation 13. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, right. no, it's not a new concept. Mm -hmm. it's, the concept is is put there in Genesis 1. Yeah, that's okay? awesome. Right. So yeah. it wraps yeah. it up. Jesus is the lamb slain <laughs> before the foundation of the earth. He was before the earth was formed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. I hope good. I'm making sense. You're making no, sense. We love that. <laughs> and we love yeah. that. All right. So we that is amazing right there. So great, great information. Jason, you're you're next up, bro. If you want to go and then and then I'll come in and uh go off of what Darius was saying. Go ahead, Jay. Well, as as we try to prove the Godhead, uh it's uh a lot of theologians, a lot of famous guys, they try to argue all these points and try to do the things, but if I like I like to go to Psalms two. If you read Psalms two, I got it all called up right on. Yeah. I'm, I'm reading from the King James Version, though, so yeah, it might okay. be a little bit different. It says, uh, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of this earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his anointed. So the Lord, that's God right there, and his anointed, that's, Je that's Jesus. Yes. That's, his, uh, that's, his, yeah. that's his son. So who is he talking to? Yeah. So who, th this is God talking to who? He's not talking to, he's not talking to man right now. He's talking to um, I feel like he's talking to the Holy Spirit and 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 
in Jesus. So let us, he says, let us, which is another plural. We want to go let, with the plurality in unity. There is plurality in unity. There can be, it's, 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 it's very possible. So, yes. so let us break their hands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the, he, uh, in the heaven shall laugh and the Lord shall have them in derision. Does that say derision? Derision. Yes. Yeah. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex him into the sore displeasure. Yet I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will Amen. declare and decree the Lord hath said unto me, thou art my son. This day I have begotten thee. Mm. Ask of me and I shall give thee the yeah. heaven for things uh, for thy inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So doesn't that sound like when when the devil was trying to to tempt the uh, yes Jesus yes. And when he, and after the forty days and the forty nights uh, the forty days in, of, in the uh, desert yeah, yeah. That's right, the wilderness yes. yeah yeah that's good and this yeah. is yep. all written before Jesus is even uh, uh, this is Psalm so this is this is written way before Jesus is even mm -hmm. born that's yeah. right all right so all right. we got we got that Jason's okay are you good with that or do you want to read some more yeah that's no 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 that's, I'm good okay. I'm just saying like if you okay. go there and just and there's a lot more there's a way more yeah, stuff yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in the Bible that say let us you yes. know uh there, oh there's, definitely there's, there's many, in Genesis there's many, many. uh when he's in Genesis alone yes okay so I, I'm going to touch on what Darius said too as well so he says the supremacy okay so uh first Colossians it says who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is mm -hmm. before all things and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who was the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the prominence, for it be pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. So you could tell that mm -hmm. they're speaking of Jesus right here, okay? Also, so just like he said, Elohim, right? That's plural right there. So uh, God said, let there be light. When he said, when it, when it says said, that means he's using the word. That means he's using Jesus Christ, yes. right? Jesus, he's creating through mm -hmm. him, by him. Also, and, John. And also, Jesus is the light. So that's kind of that's kind of a good way to look at it as well. Because <laughs> right. his spirit, he, he, he mentions himself. Yep. Says, God There's, created heaven and the earth. And then the spirit, and the spirit hovered over the waters, yeah, right? So we spirit. got the Holy Spirit there. So we have we have God the Father yeah. speaking through Jesus and creating. And and also, uh, I was going to say something. Um, another thing is, ah, man, I, I just lost my train of thought. Well, well, brother, can I? Can, okay, I have yeah, a question. For, I have a question for David though. Is because uh, you're you're pretty up on the Hebrew uh, the Hebrew language. Isn't the Hebrew language isn't isn't the plural with them? Isn't it mean three? And in, uh, in, well, in our not, language, not it's necessarily. more of like a, uh, okay, um, okay. okay. So Elohim actually means spirit beings. Mm -hmm. So the the word El is Aleph Lamed. It, it it means a uh, strong shepherd. The word El. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, Elohim is not God's name. It's a descriptor. It's spirit beings, right? Mm -hmm. And so. So I did want to point out one last part of uh, uh, Psalm two is what I wanted to bring up is is it actually Psalm two is is really cool because it actually exemplifies all three of the Godhead, okay, mm. and and the last part of it it says on at verse ten now therefore be and I'm in New King James but now therefore be wise O kings be instructed you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear. Now, listen, listen. The judges of the earth are not men. Okay, mm -hmm. the judges of the earth were the were the beings that God put over the nations. Okay, so sir, he said, so he's saying, be, be kings are the men. Okay, the judges are the Elohim over the nations. Okay, yeah. be instructed, you judges of the earth. Earth, serve the Lord with fear, the Most High, or Yahweh. Uh, you, know, you know, they always uh, uh, translate it into that. And rejoice with trembling. Listen to this. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and you mm -hmm. perish in the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are the, all those who put their trust in him. Now, listen, doesn't the scripture say trust not in man, but only in God alone? Absolutely, right. Okay, so mm -hmm. wait a minute. Why would it say trust in the son? 
<laughs> yeah. Yep. Now, you know, the Hebrews, God. they want to deny that that God ever had a son because they got to take away the only begotten. They have to take mm-hmm. away the fact that God had a son. The fact is, though, in their own scriptures in old, what we call Old Testament, which I kind of don't like because the whole of Bible is the testimony of Christ right. Jesus. The whole right. of the Bible. Forget Old Testament. It, 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 we need to be reading it now. Don't Christian, Christian in modern day church, if your pastor tells you we only read the New Testament, yeah, don't, don't, don't walk really out of the wild. church. Yeah, okay? walk out immediately. Yeah. Walk that's out. Wild. Leave. You're the whole of scripture. Okay. Right. It's all about yeah. Jesus. And it, it's, it's it's wild because, you know, like if you just wanted to use just, you know, a, a simple analogy, like they have a, a problem with Father, Son and Holy Spirit. But if you look how we were created, we're created in God's image. That's and right. We are we are soul, spirit and body. Amen. So we are ourselves complex in our unity. You know, yes. we're one being, which is a human being, but yes. three distinctive persons, you know, yes. what I'm saying, which is the body, the spirit and the soul. So I don't see how far fetched this could sound to many. You know, we're made in God's yeah. image, and He yeah. knows what He's doing. And Father, yeah. Son, and, Holy Spirit. It's not you know. And it says we're hard. made. We're actually made in Jesus's image, right? Because He is the mm. image of the invisible God. Absolutely. Amen, so we got to understand that. That's what I yeah. wanted to say earlier. So when it <laughs> yeah, says that we were back, made, God. When, yeah, you brought it back. Thank you. So when we were made in God's image, it, we're, He is the image of the invisible God. And also Amen. in John five forty five, it says that no one has ever seen. The invisible God, which is Yahweh, right? Oh, so wait, wait, in the wait. Old Testament. Oh, oh. oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> so in the Old Testament, we have we actually have God coming down and eating with Abraham, right? Yes. We also have him That's wrestling. Right. Okay, we have the angel of the Lord, which guys is the messenger of the Lord wrestling right. with Jacob. They're talking yes. about God being there in physical form, mm-hmm. then they're able to see him. So who are right. they seeing right there? Guys, where, now we have where? Jesus in the Old Testament again, so we got to understand right. that, okay? So, His hey, bro, where is, it, where, where is it written? I think it's John five, but I could be totally wrong because I'm really bad at just calling out verse chapter. Mm-hmm. Verse. I might have, I might even uh, screw that up yeah. too. I have yeah. to look I, up. I, I no, says. I'm real bad on that. But <laughs> there's on. a part where Jesus is talking to them, and and they uh, 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 Muslims today use this as as a, a statement against God because mm-hmm. it says in the scripture, no one has seen God, no one, yeah. right? Right? Yeah. And they'll, and and the Muslims will say, wasn't Jesus standing right in front of them? Was, yeah. Wasn't mm-hmm. he right there? So uh, doesn't that prove that he can't be God because no one has seen God? But if you read, I think it's John five, Jesus says, you have not seen God because you do not believe in the one whom mm-hmm. he sent. Yeah, mm-hmm. all you got to do is read on to the next scripture. Keep on reading, right? <laughs> right and it's and awesome it's, you brought that up go ahead Dave, huh? go ahead go on, go ahead go ahead I didn't no, somebody said look ahead. it up no 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 i was gonna say something else but i didn't i thought you no, were no finished, go ahead so go i'm ahead. done go ahead yeah no i was just gonna say like with the with the muslim thing that you brought up and this is kind of the the same argument with the oneness uh group you know like they they make the same arguments that the muslims make you know and i just look at that as like you know you guys your your whole argument is siding with somebody who is of a uh, separate belief of us, although they believe to some of the teachings of the Torah and everything, and they believe Jesus was a prophet and everything. But the same concept, when they have their debates and everything, they're using the same verses, you know? And I just think, man, it's, instead of going with this one is debate, instead of going against, you need to be defending it because you sound no different than these other religions who try to prove the same point, that there is only the one God and the and the son is, yes. is, is, doesn't exist or whatever the case may be. Well, so. we, we know as Christians that there is only one God. Right. All authority has been given unto me in heaven, mm-hmm. on earth and under the earth. Yeah, absolutely. OK, that's what he said. Yeah. Yep. Amen. So, Jason, Jason, did you have anything? Uh, they, any more verses you want to go over? I, I have some stuff that I definitely want to get over. So, oh, uh, dude, there's a lot in Genesis. It's, 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 it's uh, a lot. It starts off with a lot in Genesis, like uh, Genesis one twenty six. Um, Genesis, let us, uh, yeah, let, let us, us make man in our image. Yeah, like that's, yeah, that's see, a pretty good see, one. See, I, I feel, I believe that <clears throat> Adam was made in the image of God. We're made in the image of Adam because after that Adam fell, we have yes. that defect of sin of us. So yes. right. we're not actually made. We are. It, it's it, when we go back to, and and we uh, we we confess that Jesus is. You know, uh, we go through the, the scripture for First uh, Corinthians fifteen verses one through four, the gospel mm-hmm. that he that he died uh, for our sins and he and he resurrected after three days, uh, being in the earth for three days, which is another three. 
Um, mm-hmm. Nice. And uh, th- that's that. That's the point you got to make. So that's when we. To, that's when we become born that's again. Be, yeah, that's born when we're again. born in the image yes, of God. Okay. Sons, and then you become a son okay. of God, you become a son of God again. But uh, yeah. There's there's a lot more stuff like Genesis seven uh, uh, eleven seven. Let us go down. Let us go down. Yeah. So this is why I understand why why if you're an Old Testament, which mostly uh, you know the Quran is is a lot like the a lot like the Bible. Like, there's a lot of stuff in there, and uh, and if you're you know you just if you're just Jewish and you believe in the Old Testament, how, how do they explain let us? How they would they say explain? they would us. say angels. They would say angels, and, and yeah, I don't but understand. An, but angels aren't yeah. uh, angels yeah. aren't 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 God. Angels yeah. weren't in in direct uh, uh, do it with any of the creation and stuff like that. So yeah, they can't they, create, they, or else yeah. or else Satan would be creating like crazy. He'd be making yes, a whole exactly, army. But exactly, all right, exactly. So I got some stuff right here. Okay, so <laughs> here's something we need to understand. Even though he is trying to create through transhumans, but anyways, okay. So here's here's what here's what I, you guys need to understand as well. Um, Jesus receiving worship as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. No man is going to be able to receive worship like David was talking about. So we got second mm-hmm. Philippi, or second Philippians nine through 11 it says where, wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name, which is above every name that it, at, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, uh, things in the earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue shall confess that Lord, that Jesus Christ is Lord to mm-hmm. thy glory of God, the father. So you guys understand that's religious worship. Okay. Mm-hmm. That ain't going to happen for a man. If you're a Unitarian and, and that's separate from God, the father right there, you seeing that there's a separation between persons right there. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's like, you're seeing that also, um, uh, also you guys got to understand in revelation one, eight, it, it says that I am the alpha omega, the beginning and the ending saith the Lord, which, which was, and which is to come and the almighty. Mm-hmm. So Amen. Jesus is that's, that's, that's the, and then also the father says that in Isaiah. Okay. And that's also right. the father says that later in revelation. That's so right. how are you going to have one say that? And then Jesus say that if you want to listen to the, you got to read the, all the scriptures and you right. got to take all of them and then come out with your, your thinking. Don't just go with the this Isaiah says that there's one God and that's only God the Father. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Jesus can't say that. Well, Jesus is saying that right here. And mm-hmm. he's also receiving religious worship. Which yeah. and, right. Go ahead. Hey, hey, where is that hero Israel? Our Lord is one. Is that is that in the yes, do, 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 do Deuteronomy 6-4? Six, six, four. Four. Yep. Yeah. That's so, six, you know, four. and again, and, and and this is not to beat up on the Hebrews. I'm just uh, I'm familiar with of course, they, they, they're they antichrist. They reject mm-hmm. the Messiah, the majority of them. Uh, many are coming to the knowledge of salvation through Christ Jesus. But mm-hmm. when, God, when God. that word, when it says here, O Israel, our Lord is one, it's the, the word means unique. Mm-hmm. He, he is unique. He is unlike all other Elohim, all other gods, mm-hmm. little g gods. And so it's not saying he's just one as as one like a number one. It means he's right. unique for, uh, from all others. Uh, yeah, I, I turned to, to Psalm twenty two. Psalm Psalm twenty two is is a prophecy, and of course, in the Old Testament, for those who who haven't really you know read the Bible, mm-hmm. the Psalms are in the Old Testament, so they've been around as old as the five books of Moses as Genesis, they've been around for, well, you know, almost as long, right? <laughs> almost <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, and um, so it starts off with this in Psalm 22. And this is an, I think it's new King James version. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Mm-hmm. You all remember where Jesus said that hanging on the cross. Well, he was Absolutely. in our position. Right? And then it goes on. Why are you so far from helping me? And from the words of my groaning, Right. And goes on to say he cries in the daytime. Uh, and and then it goes on into Psalm to say, but you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and you and were delivered. They mm-hmm. trusted in you and were not ashamed. Ashamed. Then it goes on again the prophecy of Jesus, but I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men, and despised by the people. Mm. Right? All mm-hmm. those who see me ridicule me. Y'all remember that, right? Yes, sir. If, if he if he let him call down angels, he'll come, they'll take him down, right? Mm-hmm. Right? They ridiculed him, right? 
they they shoot out their lip, they shake their head saying, he trusted in the Lord, let him rescue him. Let him mm-hmm. deliver him since he delights in him. Right? Yeah, and, and so, so <laughs> we see this prophecy, a picture, hundreds if not, at least hundreds if not a thousand years before Jesus is on the cross. Mm-hmm. I... If you were just to say those words and not 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 call out what section of scripture it's in, I would imagine that a modern day Hebrew who rejects Jesus would go, "Oh yeah, you're talking about that Jesus guy." Yeah, okay. that's good. Yeah, <laughs> okay, really good. Absolutely, yes. he's he's all he's all over the Old Testament. There's so many Christ types in the Old Testament, you just can't deny it. Jesus is in every book of the Old Testament. You know, yes, yes, right on. And and, and and once you, once you like dig into it like that, it's like you get this uh, revealing, and it's like, whoa, this is crazy. And to touch on what you reiterated, uh, Brother Dave, about the Shema, Deuteronomy 6 4, uh, when it talks about, you know, how, how they use the, the, the one, which is Ahad. If they were to use just the, the one word that, that means one, which is Yahid, and that Yahid is a singular oneness that can't tolerate plurality at all. It's right. just by itself standalone, you know? So right. there's a difference between Yahid and there's a difference between Ahad. You know, yeah. so yes. those are those are good right there. And also what Josh was talking about before, Jesus receives worship. Anytime throughout the scriptures, when angels, when somebody bows down to an angel, the angel automatically stops and was like, do yeah. not worship me. I'm a servant just like you. Right. There is not one time in scripture where somebody worshiped Jesus, went on their knees, worshiped him, called them God, that Jesus said, get up and do not worship me. I'm just a servant. No, yeah. he always accepted worship from everybody because he know he, he is. He uh, even says God that himself. I. He says that I am like, yes, he says, absolutely. I am. I, yeah. So That's I want to think of the, yeah. thinking of the yeah. woman at the well, the woman yeah. at the well, when, mm-hmm. when, uh, he, he said, there's coming a time when they will worth worship, neither in this mountain or on that mountain there. Mm-hmm. God is looking for those who worship in, in spirit and in truth, because God is spirit. Yes. Mm. So, and then he says, the one that you're seeking, he tells her, I am the one that you are seeking. I am he. Yep. So e- either Jesus is a crazy town, man. He's crazy. Yep. He's a liar. Or he sa- he is who he said he was. Mm-hmm. Okay? And he, who he says he is. Yeah. Right. If we read on in the scripture, of course, you all know that he's the only man who ever died. Said, I'm going to rise in three days. I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. And he did. Claimed well, it and that's did just, it. You, you know, that's just a bunch of hyper hyperbolic statements from Jesus freak people. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, we, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of summarizing here the whole wholeness of, of, of this. But if, if we look at the scripture, we had a bunch of men who ran scared. And then after their, their Lord and Savior rose from the grave, <laughs> these guys <laughs> were emboldened to even hang yes, upside down were. on the cross and die. Yep. They were yep. so sure of who he was that they mm-hmm. were willing to give up everything. Yep. But yep. Prior to that, it was like, oh man, you know, he was supposed to save us from Rome, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, even like Thomas, when Thomas doubted, you know, and Thomas yes. was like, I don't want to see. And this is after Jesus' res- resurrection. And then when he yeah. seen Jesus, and he put, Jesus was like, go ahead, touch my wounds. Yeah. And he touched him. He was like, God down. I was like, oh, my Lord and my God, you know? Right. Like, yeah. Amen. He, he acknowledged, he acknowledged yeah. who Jesus was at that moment. And he didn't believe it at first from just all off of here. So what the, the apostles were saying, he was like, I got to see this for myself. And when he did, he was yes. like, my Lord and my God, you know? Yes. So, and he said, deity. you're blessed. You're blessed because you see, but blessed, gr- more blessed, blessed yeah. are those who believe yeah. who have not seen. Yes. Not seen, right? Amen, man. Good. And then also, everybody said, that's Christian says that Jesus is my Lord and Savior, right? Amen. So let's go back to Isaiah 43, 11 through 13. It says, I, even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. I mm-hmm. have declared and have saved and I have showed that there is no strange in among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. I am God. So understand mm. something. So Jesus has to be part of that, of, of the yes. Godhead, because he's our Lord and Savior. So if you're out right. here calling Jesus your Lord and Savior, and then you go back to Isaiah and God, Yahweh says that there is no Savior besides me, then right. mm-hmm. what are we doing here? We're, you right. know, we got to yep. take the whole scripture in context yes. and we got to put it and understand no matter if if you read something, you need to connect it down in the in the you know the well, old testament. Well, to New what testament. does Paul write? Even he says that if Jesus is not who he said he was, we we are we are with a people without hope. Right, right. Oh, yeah. I remember, right. Paul was like uh, 
the, a Jew of Jews, you know? I mean, he's the Israelite among Israelites, right? right? Yeah. And, and he's either 150 or zero, you know, he's like zero <laughs> or he's 150. Yeah. <laughs> and he will go and slay everybody he needs to slay, or he, yeah. you know, that's what that's how he was. So he needs to make right. sure. I believe Paul needed to make sure 100%. And then once he finds out that, that he believes that, he goes he's 150. Going. He's going, right. you know what I mean? Right, that's a good point. Yeah, like us. Yeah. No, I'm just yes. kidding. Hopefully, like, that's what you're kind of doing right now. Let's go, baby. You know what I mean? Like, that's how we should yeah. be. Like Paul. Yeah. I don't care yes, what anybody says. All right. right. <laughs> okay, so guys, got to understand that. Um, also, uh, we got to. Okay, does anybody want to? Jason, you want to touch on anything, or does anybody want to go? I don't, uh, don't want to take the mic the whole time. We can go back to we can go back to uh, <laughs> the Old Testament where we we're talking about the angel of the Lord. All right, let's go. Go for it. Joshua 13, mm. when it came to pass, uh, when he, this is when he was there uh, going to the battle of Jericho, and he comes up upon a man that's, that's sitting there, that's right. standing there with a sword drawn, and he's like, are, are you with us or against us? And he yeah. says, take off your shoes, you are on hollow ground. Which That's right. And he knew what that meant, because he was there with Moses when God said that, when the when he was when he said the same thing, when Jesus mm-hmm. said the same thing to Moses. So mm-hmm. that that and he, he, right. he angel of the Lord, not a angel of the Lord, which is mm-hmm. Lord Gabriel, capital or, too, capital yeah, the, the captain of the messenger host. of the Lord is what you could yes, say. Yeah. The right. word, mm-hmm. the word, because you can't talk to God straight up, you'll 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 probably explode if you, if you, if you <laughs> listen. To mm-hmm. So that's why that's why he is sent. He's the he was the man. He was a, he was a voice in the burning bush. Yes, now that yeah. proves it right there because. Who else would know that? Who else would say it like that? And if you don't study, exactly like that. if you don't study too, like, dude, my whole life before, like, I, I always thought that God was in the burning bush. I always thought yeah. that. And then also, oh, here's another one. The angel of the Lord showed up when uh, Abraham was going to yeah. sacrifice Isaac. That's right. Yes. That's right. So yes. Jesus saw with his own eyes that a man was about to do this and he was like oh, right. okay that probably pushed him like hey you know what that probably pushed him even more to want to do this right. for all of us to die on the cross because he was like whatsoever a man to do this he stopped them right, right there it says the angel of the lord stopped them and it's capital letters and it and that could be g i don't know yeah. we're just that could be jesus saying well, wow. well here's here's another thing where is. language i believe language, it is too language does us um falls uh short sometimes because when we hear the word the angel of the lord we're thinking like this angelic being but yeah. a- angelos the angel just means a, a, an announcer a trumpeter right. of the right. lord yeah. and so it, so the the language kind of does us a disservice uh, we yeah. find that a lot um and that's why we have to if we really want to really really pull jesus out of the scripture we want to see mm-hmm. him we got to go deeper than just a, a cursory just re blast through the, the right, scripture right, right. And he's always uh, unnamed and that and that angel of the lord is never he, he never has a name is never named there it's you always, go he's got that's gabriel right. you have you have all right uh, good point good point you have Michael. other other angels that yeah, show up good. that always have a message that always have a message but this one it, but he also commands worship that right. angel and, of the lord commands worship so that's right. how, you would and the just, old testament would be contradicting itself if it was if it was if that way. So that's right. Right. Yep. Even with the angel of the Lord with Abraham sacrificing Isaac, that whole picture yes. is a Christ type thing. Because I do believe, like Josh said, I do believe this is Jesus. Because you know, yeah. um, it starts in 22 11. Um, it's the angel of the Lord. If we keep reading, um, it says, uh uh, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted his eyes and looked, and behold. Behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by his horns, and Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering. Now, Praise if we continue God. to read, if we continue to read with that, um, the uh, Lord will Abraham, provide a sacrifice. Exactly, yeah. and then it says Abraham a second time from heaven said, "By myself, uh, it says, by myself I have sworn. Only God can swear by Himself." Um, yeah. And uh, Jesus, uh, and decla- He declares He's the Lord. And then if we go down, it says, "Because you have obeyed my voice." Now, the reason I think this is Jesus, and if I have to present a case, this would be it. This whole concept here is a Christ type. We have the father and the son, Abraham and his son. Abraham's son was bringing the wood mm-hmm. for his offering as Jesus yes. Christ held the cross for taking himself yes. to, his, to, the, to the cross to be, yes. uh, uh, you know, uh, crucified. Then we also have, we have the lamb being, the ram being caught in the thicket. If you go back yeah. to the crucifixion, 
he wore the the crown of thorns. Yeah. Um, what else do we have? We have um just dope things like that. It's like you see the whole Christ type in this analogy. So I think God was giving us this vision, like showing us that the angel of the Lord, yeah, we can say, All right, yeah, we know that that can be God, but it's not Jesus. But here, Jesus, I mean, God is Father God has given us this whole picture of the foreshadow of Jesus Christ in this picture right here. So this right. is what gives me the confidence to be like, Yeah. I got well, we, got, we, we also have a we also have a version of the Holy Spirit in that situation because there is a servant that goes and gets uh 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 Rebe is it Rebecca by the by the well and his name is right. Eliezer. Yeah, Eliezer means comforter. Mm -hmm. So the, the, who, 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 what is what is what is the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit? He's the comforter. Comforter. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, I got another one. He's too. always unnamed, and and the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. never always he always professes Jesus. He always professes the deity of Jesus Christ. He never he's never named, but you find out his name early in the in the book because yeah, he, he was he he was. But you gotta understand too, uh, Isaac Isaac wasn't no little kid. OK, he wasn't like right. he was like 10 years old. He was a, probably mm -hmm. about 30s. 30s, 30s. Yes. Yeah. And if you understand yeah, something, old. when when this happens, he when he dis he disappears for like a, he, he and the days that he's gone not mentioned in, in that part of the book is three days. Mm -hmm. Right. Which, is, Whoa, kind of, which okay. is crazy. That's awesome. That's I got good. another type. Yeah. I got another type for, to add to Darius's pile of types of Jesus throughout Scripture. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, it's, uh, it's Genesis 37. Joseph. Yes, I, I, oh, yeah. I I, man, we could refer to Joseph so many times of 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 God's ways, you know. And if you remember, Joseph has a dream. He tells his brothers, "Y'all are going to be <laughs> bowing down before." I'm I'm paraphrasing yeah. it, okay. Yeah, and yeah. then they get ticked off. They're like, "We we we we're nuking this dude. This dude is going mm -hmm. down. We don't like him." But he tells his father, "You're right. going to bow before me," and his father. Is looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is a type of Jesus. It's a and, type. Right. And that when, the father when... would bow down before the son. Yep. Mm. Man. And then uh, also uh, awesome. the, angel, the angel of the Lord also uh, talks to Abraham and also speaks to um, I can't remember his the 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 one that had um. That had the other the other kid. Uh, Hagar, Hagar, Hagar. It says, yeah. "I will multiply." Right. He doesn't say like he's not right. saying like God will multiply. Uh -huh. He says, "I will multiply." You know, I want to multiply the, the uh, multiplying thy seed. You know, like he yeah, says, yeah, yeah. "I." So that's interesting. Also, Daniel three twenty five. It says that. Uh, it says that this is when uh, they're in the fire, right? It says that he answered and said, uh, "Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and." They have no hurt, and the form of the That's fourth right. is like the Son of God, Amen. not mm. a Son of God. Right. Jesus is in the fire saving these gentlemen mm -hmm. and taking Praise them out of God, the fire. Bro. It says, it doesn't say a Son of God, the Son of God, and it's yeah. all capital letters. So I think Amen. that's really interesting that, that that's also uh, Jesus in the Old Testament. And, you know, mm -hmm. you can't deny it. You know, it's it's very interesting. Very interesting. Right. I, yeah. like, I, it, man, I need to look that up in the original Hebrew. I need to look and see what the actual do. lexicon It might have been is. written in Aramaic. I'm, I'm not sure if it was. Yeah, I, I think it switched to Aramaic in the third uh, chapter. I think the second right. chapter was Hebrew and the third was Aramaic. Right. So we're going to okay. have to get in the Aramaic there. You know what I mean? So, right. yeah. Um, you know what's crazy that you guys bring that up? Though? I'm sorry. Like, um, have you guys ever heard about the, the Targums? So basically, the Targums yep. is basically yep. the, old, the Old Testament in Aramaic. Yeah, yep. Yes. And if you read a lot of these passages that we're talking about, they always refer to um to as the word. Yes. The word. And yes, it's crazy I've heard that before from uh, Jesus. Yes. Yeah. I've heard yeah, that I from think, uh from uh, yes. Zen, bro. Zen Garcia. Yeah. Like, he okay. says he says instead of it being like it, it was written in um that was the second translation, even though everybody goes to the Septuagint, the right, second right, translation right. was the Targum. So Targum, and it says right. the word like the throughout word the old everywhere, testament everywhere, everywhere bro which is talking just about jesus it. bro yes exactly right. so right. Right. you know those, those you know but that just goes deep into yeah, that's, that's good you brought right that up there into <laughs> always reading more right always going deeper if, if it's available in a lot of ways we kind of have no excuse not to these right. days exactly i was gonna say that man mm -hmm. yeah that's uh, why when jesus says i never knew you at this very moment with all the technology we have you yeah. better know jesus you right. better, better send chills no excuses 
You know what I mean? Because you can you can read it, you can you can learn Aramaic, you can you can read yeah. the you can learn Greek, you can learn all this. People will keep yes. them learn Spanish, which is no problem, but you can learn Aramaic, you can learn Hebrew, you can learn Greek, yeah. you have all you know, we yeah. don't have all the time in the world, but hey, there's right. no excuse, man. So you I can like, find out yeah. what they said, just like uh, uh brother David is doing, going back to the paleo Hebrew and all right. that stuff. It's interesting. Um, I right. have another spot that Jesus is called God, and this awesome. is from Paul. In Titus 2, verses 12 through 13, it says, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we shall live uh, soberly, righteously, and godly in the present of the world, looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. God and our Savior. That's another time. Right. He's calling them a, this is Paul speaking. He said the Hebrew yep. of Hebrews. He's calling Jesus right. Savior, and he's calling him God. That would mm -hmm. be... That would never happen for somebody that knows the Old Testament like 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 Paul knew. And, and if he was yeah. a Hebrew, that would never happen. OK, so he did us does a the same bad thing. example. Yeah. 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 Peter is in second Peter one one. He says, Simon, Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ to those who have obtained a faith of equal standing with ours by the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so those two are parallel with each other. Yeah, and that, and I That's and I've awesome. checked it, and I've actually checked it to make sure too that it, and it goes. It's a fluent sentence when he's and, saying and, that. Yeah, and and, and I want to encourage Christians specifically. We got to stop thinking that the disciples were a bunch of like Westernized guys or even mm -hmm. Englishmen. These guys were mm -hmm. Hebrews. Yep. The original the original set of disciples were all Hebrew. Every yep. one of them grew up in a Hebrew house, believing that, uh, you know, and the five books of Torah that they, they studied mm -hmm. vigilantly. Young boys were required to know Genesis. Absolutely. Yep. So <laughs> these guys, these guys knew this. They lived the scriptures for real. And yep. so for them to say this is not a light thing for yeah, them to say not. what you just read. Right. About our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That 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 was in their day. That was even that was a dangerous thing. It's like blasphemy. Say. It's like blasphemy. Yeah, sure. You get stoned <laughs> and killed for it. That's why Jesus is going to get stoned when. And then he, when he said, "I am." That, yeah. Everybody yeah. went, "What?" Boom! I got stones and just walked through him. the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So another <laughs> another thing we got to understand is who's on the right hand of the Father. You know, if 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 Jesus, you know what I mean? Who's right. on the right now? If it's not separate persons. Now, Stephen, when he when he got he said he looked up and he saw Jesus yes. at the right hand, right? Mm -hmm. So right. Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. So who's on the right mm -hmm. hand? If if there's is is it just if it's just the oneness, it's it's right. if, if God God the Father was actually yes. manifested and it's only God the right. Father, or some people just stick with that it's only Jesus and Jesus is God the Father. Jesus, I mean, yeah, you know, it's like gotta the, understand the whole, that. The whole modal, modalism thing is yeah, like there Jesus you go. is the Father, oh, yeah. Jesus is the Holy Spirit, you know? Yeah, yeah. and, and they like only focus on see, Jesus. Church, which right. you gotta be careful, see man. The scriptures, there's yeah. a distinction always. It's Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Father, and okay, Son. Okay, guys, like you I know this This might seem off, off subject, but you just brought it up. Mm -hmm. How do we, and this is something I consider, how do we avoid modalism, uh, all these things that are creeping up, these ideals that, that sound right, mm -hmm. seem right, right? How do we avoid that? How, I, I know what the answer is, but mm -hmm. how do we avoid going off in the wrong direction about who Jesus is or who the Father God is or or how salvation comes? How, how do we avoid that? But you just got to listen to the to the way that I, th I think you got to listen to the way that it's spoken and the way that they speak instead of saying like it's three different persons. They'd be like, yes. it's three parts. Uh, they switch like it's just, you just have to listen, but you got to have to study, though, first. Like we said, to show thyself approved, to understand that but, they're but, not but, speaking but, correctly. But, 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 right, I agree. But what I'm getting at is that look, I know I know college professors that can quote scripture way better than all all of us combined. Mm -hmm. The devil too. Now. The devil can yeah, too. That's right. And so what what's the what's the different factor? The different factor, the defining factor, is Holy Spirit. I was just yeah, going to say absolutely. that. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> Take it to the Holy Spirit and let him, yeah. he's, a, he's a teacher of all things. He's going to teach you. He'll lead you into all understanding. Yeah. Right on, bro. Right. Yes. yes. Right. Amen. And, and this is where they, they, they fall flat. And this is why they, they don't hear that still small voice. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm speaking specific Christian. If you Christian person, brother and sister in Christ Jesus, if you don't 
hear from God, you might want to consider how how your relationship is with the one mm -hmm. whom you call Lord and Savior. All of us can hear that still small voice, but we, we got to listen. Mm -hmm. He has an ear. He who has an ear, listen. We got to be right. prepared to hear from the Most High through His Spirit, His Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. Yes, and, right. and he'll lead you into all understanding. Right. Scripture okay. Speaking. Say this. Speaking of the Holy Spirit, this is something we need to Let's understand. Go. Okay. <laughs> it says Holy Spirit. Okay. It's uh First Corinthians twelve verses ten through eleven. It says to another the mm -hmm. working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same are the self same spirit dividing to every man uh severely mm -hmm. as he will yeah so like the spirit has his own Amen. will so if the spirit has his own That's will right. and then jesus says i will i will follow the will of my father so jesus has a will Amen. and now god the father has a will there's three separate wills so that makes three separate right. persons but they're all one right. godhead right and i understand in, in, that in this verse in this verse it says the holy the holy spirit is identified as a person it says he the yes. father and the he. son the Father and the Son sends the Spirit who manifests himself in all believers. So it's like the Spirit is, is like you said, Josh, he's the giver of gifts. Yeah. It, it raises the Spirit is what raises people from death to life and spirituality. The Spirit is a personal person of the Godhead. That's why it's talked about. Not that's why it's talked about um when it says, uh, what is it? Uh not 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 um what's it, the scripture it says, uh think don't think the Holy Spirit, don't quench the Holy Spirit, oh, you know. That's right, so, yes. right. Don't quench the Holy Spirit. He's a person. He's not a force. He's not a it. He's a distinct, a distinctive person of the Godhead. So Amen. Dave, it's awesome that you brought it up like that. What's the difference well, with the oneness and modalism? The Holy Spirit. Yeah. Dude, dude. And that that's what and I I write, I'm sorry to peg my book. I write this uh continuously. At, at the end of sections, I say, pray and ask Holy Spirit to explain to you what mm -hmm. you just oh, yeah. read. Yeah. And, yeah. and But Jesus said, he said to the disciples, remember, these guys were not a bunch of Englishmen like mm -hmm. we've been portrayed so often. They weren't westernized. They were Hebrews. And Jesus said, from now on, you'll pray in this manner, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Right. And you right? That, right? That's religious right. worship too. When, when when it's religious worship when you when you're baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit. That's religious worship for all three. God the right. Father would never have that if they were not mm -hmm. part of the Godhead. Also, right. we have lying to the Spirit. We have Acts five verses three through four. <laughs> but but Peter said, Ananias, yeah. why hath Satan filled thine hearts to lie to the Holy mm -hmm. Ghost Jesus. and to keep Good. back uh, back part of the price of the land uh, whilst it remained? Was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine power? Why thou hast con uh, conceived, conceded this thing in thine heart, and that's how not lied unto men, but unto God. So when you lie yeah. to the Holy Spirit, it says that you're lying, lying unto, God, right. unto yeah. God. Well, for those for those who don't know that section of scripture, what happened is they were all basically giving up their worldly goods and sharing mm -hmm. them with the group and creating like this communal living and and people brought stuff in and just poured it on the pile so to speak and they went and lied and said yeah well we 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 sold it for this mm -hmm. we had this much right. and it dropped dead on the spot <laughs> holy spirit <laughs> yeah. wasn't playing <laughs> and the wife the wife came and she dropped dead as well yeah so not just him <laughs> yeah but the wife yep. came and dropped dead as well so guys right. well, and john and john 15 26 where where jesus speaks of the holy spirit he, uh ooh, where'd it go there it is he says, but when the comforter is come, mm -hmm. whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall mm -hmm. testify of me. Of and he, me, that's right. Which that's and, right. and right. yeah, and it's uh and, he, and Jesus has to go mm -hmm. for the Holy Spirit to come. So that that's that's that, that's kind of you know, that's kind of crazy to me. That, the scripture that, says, I I'm sorry, forgive me if I'm wrong, that the uh, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Absolutely. Mm. Is that mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Is that right? It's just coming to my memory. And how much prophecy yep. did that did, did he fulfill? A lot. <laughs> A lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot. Okay, so yeah, and John 14, 26, also, just like Brother Jason said, man, it's like the but the counselor, the Holy Spirit, the Father will send him in my name. 
will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have told you. So the Holy Spirit is our teacher. He's our instructor. He's the Amen. gift giver. You know, he yes. is part of that Godhead. You know? And he's and, guiding us every decision right. you make. You know, it's like it's yep. like God versus Satan and everything we do. Right. I always say that. So every decision you make from the minute, small decision to the major yes. decisions mm -hmm. you make, the Holy Spirit is guiding you. And you're going right. to you're going to feel him guiding you. And when yes. you really are walking with God instead of just yep. being a believer, right. I, I believe really, beautiful. I, I dare people to to that get stuck in the Bible or, or actually or, or if he's getting interested to, you know, take it, write it down, pray to the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit about it. It might not happen that day. Yep. But right. it's gonna come and and it's gonna come to you. And it's gonna and seriously, it's 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 really weird. Well, you mean Thank when you. you ask for instruction, you mean <laughs> yes, you sir. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, you I, I you so agree with you. I have never seen God, Holy Spirit, not answer. And God doesn't it say the Father loves to give good things? And you who are who are a sinner, if oh. you if your son asks you for something, you're gonna you ask for bread, you're gonna give him a snake. Right. <laughs> nope. And so whenever I've asked uh, when I don't understand something, oh, shoot, I remember Holy Spirit is the one who told me many years ago that uh, space aliens were demons. No mm -hmm. man told me that. Hol right. Holy Praise Spirit God. said. And it opened oh. up. It, I, I went, whoa, I just the whole world what just changed i went oh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. makes sense <laughs> makes I can, sense yes. i can show you guys a separation too real quick between uh jesus you know and and god the father and the holy mm -hmm. spirit so and this is also religious worship okay for the holy mm -hmm. spirit it says also i this is luke uh 12 verses 8 8, 8 through 12 also i say unto you whosoever shall confess me before men him shall the son of man also confess before the angels of god he hath denied me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. Jesus. And whoever mm -hmm. shall speak a word against the son of man, it shall be forgiven by him. But mm -hmm. unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Spirit, it shall not Jesus. be forgiven. And when mm -hmm. they bring unto yep. thy synagogues and, and majesties or, or magistrates and powers, uh, no thought how and, and what thing ye shall answer and what ye shall say for the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what ye ought to say. So I'm going to tell you right there. It says that you speak against the son of man, which is Jesus, but blasphemy right. against the Holy spirit is not, it's it, that's, that's religious worship too. And mm -hmm. it's placing the Holy spirit because like uh, uh, brother David and Darius and Jason were saying, it's he's guiding us. And if you start blaspheming against the Holy spirit, he's there personally with you, you know, at, right. at every decision yes. you make. So if right. you blaspheme him, you know, that's, that right there is an unforgivable sin. So you guys need to be careful right. with that. Why would God yep. place it so high for the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit to be, un you know, that's the unforgivable sin because he's, mm -hmm. you know, you got to understand that. So it's, it's separated. Well, how, how do you, uh, Wilder says is how do you blaspheme the Holy Spirit? Like what, what deny. constitutes that man? If you deny him, if uh, like, yes. that's a, that's a, I think it's denying. That's a, yeah, I, it's yeah, that's a hard. Uh, that's a hard thing to understand. Well, I, I one time I did a teaching and I said attributing something that's that's not from God to Holy Spirit is also blaspheming the Holy Spirit. So attributing yeah, that there, yeah. that um, I don't know he something was casting that out uh, demons, right? Yeah, yeah, it's doctrines of demons or something, and mm -hmm. attributing it to the Holy Spirit. Which, yeah. by mm -hmm. the way, in a sense, what they're gonna do with with ai in the near future they're going to yes call it sir <laughs> okay yeah, 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 yeah. And, and so that that's going to be unforgivable mm -hmm. i'm just throwing that out there okay <laughs> yeah, yeah it kind of it kind of lines up too with like even taking a mark of the beast that's another thing that's unforgivable so you know how you just how you just mentioned it is like the image we are made in god's image now right the beast is trying to create his own image and if that's you take right. that image you, you yeah you forfeit your humanity by yeah, doing that's these why, things where, that's why where the transhumanism Nef comes into play that's why the nephilim they couldn't be saved because that's they right. weren't made in god's image right they, they were absolutely they were, they, they're right so but the right. devil has his, the devil has his own trinity as well, you know. Like, mm -hmm. and yes. that's, but that I feel like that the mark of the beast is like that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit because that's his version of sealing you with his mark. Yeah, Dude, right. we're right. sealed. Is, with that, the, is that Ephesians? You've been sealed with the promise of Holy <laughs> yes. Spirit. Yep. Yes, no. yes, that, yep. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So once good, you good receive point. the Holy Spirit, you're 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 good. You're good. You're sealed. Good. That's you're it. Sealed. Yeah. So once God. you take His seal, you're done. It's yeah. over. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah people forget that God has a mark. God mm -hmm. is actually mentioned several times throughout Scripture. Mm -hmm. Okay, the the mark of the beast is a corruption of the ideal of God having a mark. 
Right. So we all know everybody's even worldly people have heard of the mark of the beast, but not mm -hmm. even a lot of Christians haven't understood that God has a mark. Absolutely. Right? And and so uh, where is it where it says is, it, is I forget what it's in Old Testament where he tells the angels to go in and kill everyone mm -hmm. and women and child ch children. But he says one angel put my mark upon those who cry right. out in the street for the abominations done in the city. Right. Put my mark on them. God, you have a mark. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, <laughs> yep. and then the seals, the word mark and seal is kind of almost interchangeable uh, in scripture. Almost. Mm -hmm. um, um, and so the seal, right? We have the seal of Holy Spirit. I also have a, a verse here. This is Jude. This is Jesus's brother, right? His half brother. Uh, it says in Jude uh, 1, 20 through 21, this is also separation. You're going to see, you're going to see separation mm -hmm. here. It says, but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy ghost, keeping yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal mm -hmm. life. <laughs> They're just what? mixing it. They're just, yeah. You're going to see three different people yes. they're talking about there, you know? So it's, it's, yeah. Notice the separation, the, you know? Yeah, there's another one in 2 Corinthians where it says, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <laughs> That's yeah. 2, 2 Corinthians 13, 14. So here we always see right here a separate distinction, but they work together as one unity. They're always right in agreement on, with each other. They don't, yeah. they don't ever contradict one another. And another passage that we can go, which is undeniable, was Jesus' baptism. All yeah. three of them are present yep. at that one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. This yeah, is my Jesus son and whom I'm well pleased. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. And the spirit yeah. as a dove is there. So it's like you 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 can go all you want trying to say that there's there's not three persons that a Godhead, but it's undeniable. It, it has to get to the point where if you honestly study the scriptures, you just have to bow down to it and praise God for it because it's amazing. You yes. know? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. take all of it. And then uh, Romans 120 for the invisible things of him. From the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things mm -hmm. that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Okay, so Whoa, you got wait, Godhead wait, right I, there. I would emphasize that they're yeah. without excuse. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, and and so we have to actively seek to deny Christ Jesus. You have to actively mm. seek. And yep. and and listen, listen. I I for the life of me, I don't understand. Um, Maybe it's a good thing that we can't get our brain around how someone could decide to hate the one who died for yours, took your sin upon himself. Mm. He who mm -hmm. knew no sin became sin. Mm. Right? Oh, my Lord. And then to give, and he'll give you his righteousness in mm -hmm. exchange. Right. Come on. You, and oh, then no, I want to deny I wanna, that. I want to show you where I think that, <laughs> that God the Father is talking to Jesus. In uh, Psalms 110.1, 1, it says, the, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Like, what mm -hmm. do you mean the Lord saith unto my Lord? What is it? Yep. What, what's going on there? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's really, That's really good. interesting, man. Yeah, very interesting. Um, yeah, and um, like, which one did you just read? So what was that? That was uh, Psalms um, uh, 110 verse yeah. 1. Yeah. Okay, because there, there's another song too where um it's Psalm 44 where the the father calls the father calls uh, the son like you just mentioned it said so it says Psalm 45 6 your throne O God is forever and ever the scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of uprightness now how do we know this Jesus because the the writer of Hebrews reiterates the same passage and it says but the son but of the son he says your throne yes. of god is forever and never the scepter of uprightness is the scepter of your kingdom well we know in the heat in the book of hebrews is talking about the son here so yeah, it is we have the old the old it's testament talking, right uh, here, prophesying. It's talking about, in psalms here it's talking about two different persons mm -hmm, absolutely. Throne, because it says uh therefore god your god has anointed mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. yeah that's awesome oh, yeah. bro that's awesome yeah so just this just the New Testament reiterating it, just giving you the proof. Because if you don't believe it in in the Old Testament that they were talking about Jesus, all right, we're gonna come back. We're gonna tell you that we're talking about the same. We're talking about the same verse in the Old Testament. We're talking about Jesus here specifically. So there's yeah. no denial in that. The Old Another Testament. Another reason why we, we need to be grounded in the the Old Testament scriptures. Mm -hmm. I, I I really we need a different word. I don't I don't like it. Old Testament means like it's something we need to throw out, like an old garment. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it's it's. I know well, that's what we historically have sectioned out the Bible like that, but right. 
uh, I don't know. It just doesn't well, sit well with me. <laughs> I, I heard this from uh, Chuck Mystery. He said uh, the Old Testament is the New Testament concealed. Yes. And the New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. Amen. And, and if you and if you really, really, really study that and not just think of one verse theology and, and, and stick with that, you're mm-hmm. you're you got to get you got to get the whole thing, it, even even the he begat, he begat, they begat it. That's yes. I know it's boring, but it's very, 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 very important to understand. So well, there's the things, there are stuff. secrets in it. God yes, has but, hidden his his yeah. secret things in those scriptures. When you dig mm-hmm. them out, there it's amazing. And your Chuck Mister was really good for that stuff. Man. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, there's I a was, story uh, hidden in those names. Yes. Yep, yep. And because I wanted to go back to that, uh, we were talking about uh, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and and because his the Holy Spirit's on his way to get a Gentile bride. Mm. That's how crazy that is. That there's so in Jesus's lineage, there's like five women. That are Gentile brides. Right. You know, yeah. so you, you got you got Ruth. You got uh, uh you got uh, who else? Uh, T- Tamir or T- Tamar or whatever. Uh, you got uh, Boaz's mom. Uh, uh, the harlot. What was her name? Oh, man, I can't remember her name. That's all right. It's all uh, good. Just, Ray, just hey, look it up. Hey, yeah, Rahab. Hey, Rahab. Hey, Rahab. Hey, Rahab. Hey, and she was saved by Joshua. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because she right. was sealed yeah. with the mark. Yeah, yeah. with her mark. Yeah, so that's right. that's. That's awesome. And and that, yeah. that's why I love the Bible because it's so precise and right. it's always showing you that it's it's not just prophecy fulfillment, it's pattern all the way through. Pattern. That's, pattern. That's, that's, yeah, very, the Western very way important. is to look at prophecy fulfillment. Yep. But the actual way of God is to demonstrate a pattern, to demonstrate mm-hmm. that that his well, really his 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 ways, his seasons, right? His times and seasons, right? His appointments. So he uses patterns for that. I wanted to show, I wanted to also show like uh, this, you know, like worship, you know, like religious worship. You know, this is, uh, this is John uh, 3 verses 10 through 18. Uh, Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel and knowest uh, not these yeah. things? Yeah. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do, kn- we do know. And testify that we have seen and we receive our uh, not our witness. If I have told you earthly things and ye did not believe, how it, how shall ye believe if I tell you heavenly things? Mm-hmm. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that come down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of the Man son be of lifted man. up, mm-hmm. that whosoever mm-hmm. believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God... So loved the world that he gave his yes. only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So right yes. there, I'm just going to say this. You have to believe in the son to have everlasting life. That is religious right. worship, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, for God for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him may be saved. So I told you that Jesus, our, our God, the father said that he is the only savior in Isaiah. And now we have religious worship to the son. They have to be connected. Okay. It can't just yeah. be a man that was born in, in Mary's womb as a virgin yeah. coming out. And then God's going to give him this religious worship because that is blasphemy. Mm-hmm. If you don't connect all the scriptures from the old Testament to the new Testament all together, and then make it, you know, in context and understand that there, this just, you can't believe it all, man. If, yeah. if if it's not a godhead, you can't believe it all because right, it right. would contradict itself. But it's not con- contradicting itself in any way. And- I I I wonder, bro, what what is the hindrance um, that you know there'll be people out on the street, you know, regular folk that that's, I believe in God, but Jesus in a, is an offense to them. Mm-hmm. You know, I believe there's a scripture that says hearts are revealed by His name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you, I call it drop a Jesus bomb in the middle of a conversation Boom. in a room. Mm-hmm. Drop Jesus and watch the faces. And you can you can see who, who loves him and who doesn't. And I just mm-hmm. wonder well, well, what is what is the offense? What's what's so offensive about Jesus being Lord and Savior? What is it? What what's what's the hindrance? Mm-hmm. You know, it's it happened, and, and that's the only one that you know. Like, if you ask the AI, like for example, like tell a joke about it's, Muhammad, the AI yeah, will not do it. it. If you <laughs> ask it, it to Jesus, ask, though, yeah, if you ask to tell a joke about Jesus, it's going to come right out and do it. If you say well, it shows what about this Buddha, world is about. if you say Buddha, it won't do it. 
If you say uh, Muhammad or any of these other people, it won't do it, but it will definitely go and talk about Jesus, right? right. And, uh, you know, it's very interesting. Also, the demons, they knew when they got cast out, they knew Jesus before. They already mm. knew. Oh, yeah, yeah. They mm. knew already. Right. So Jesus, son, son of the most high God, what have you <laughs> yeah. come here to yeah. torment us before right. the point in time? Point Listen time. to that. Yeah. They knew. So even yeah. the demons yeah. know. And some of you right. Christians don't know. That's terrible. <laughs> right. That's terrible. Yeah. Because the I demons mean, know. It's because man right. man has a hard a hard uh, time wrapping it around their head that they don't they don't get to help in their salvation. They want to help. Mm -hmm. They want to do the works. They want to be that. that oh, I only got Jesus is the only answer. But why? Well, what if I do this, this, and this? It doesn't. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it well, doesn't. you know what? The, what they have the doctrine re reversed. What happens is our love for Christ Jesus and the leading of Holy Spirit causes us to do good works. Yeah, your works are high part of your faith. Uh, you know, Dave, King David said, I, "Will I give an offering that didn't cost me?" Right? It's like I'm not giving the Lord an offering that doesn't cost me. What, what good mm -hmm. is that? What kind of offering is that? But the the fact is, is that you know our goodness is as a dirty rags. I mean, it's almost cliche, right? I mean, for us, mm -hmm. we you know you, you know that, right? Your your goodness is like dirty rags, right? So, but the thing, the offerings that we give the Most High come from him it's like he gives us he endues he gives us the goodness that we pour back to him we we mm. there and so i i, I don't know the, the i'm losing my train of thought now That's all right. of a sudden but it's just like it's like i don't understand again i don't understand why people would reject jesus i can't get my brain around it why if we could understand I, the only thing i can think of is in scripture it says that they love the darkness they don't want yeah. The light yeah yeah that, that, i had a, a i had a baby believer one time tell me one time she was like it was like it just makes so much sense because everywhere you go on the tvs on the radio stations everywhere everybody always blaspheming jesus everybody's always talking bad about jesus making fun of him in the movies but all these other gods are accepted everywhere but yeah. jesus is the one who always gets the heart and the stick and then the show that in the stick. And then she was like, that made me think it's like, he's got to be the true one because why is everybody's mouth always attached to him in a negative way? You Correct. know, nobody wants to show him love. But sometimes when you think of it in a simple way like that, it's kind of true. It's like all religions talk about Jesus, whether they say he's God or not. They all talk about him. They all mock him on TV. He's on the show. So when you yeah. sit back and you're like, why? It's like, it makes you think it's like, he got to be the truth then because he, he's, he's in everybody's mouth. He's he's the yeah. one who loved you first. It's like right, it doesn't make right. sense. He mm -hmm. loves you immensely, and you mm -hmm. want to hate him. It right. doesn't make any sense. Right, right. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. You see it all, all over the place. The blasphemy of Jesus everywhere, making jokes of him. Man, this is take a step back and think about why, because he is who he says he is. That's and right. This world and this world is has 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 a, a lowercase g God who is running it right now. That's you right. Know, so. That's right. That's right. Yep. Amen. Um, I have another one I'm trying to find real quick. It's uh it's one that everybody it's kind of like a controversial verse. Uh it's oh, gonna be please, uh, bring it on. It's gonna be <laughs> first John five. So first John, okay, five uh five through nine. Uh who is he that overcometh the world that he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God, that that is he that come by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that beareth witness because mm. the spirit is truth. For there are thee that bear record in heaven, the father, the word, and the Holy ghost. And these are, uh, these three are one. It mm, says it right go. there. Now, some people will be like, mm. that wasn't in the Greek. That wasn't in it. But there was people that yeah. were quoting this in like 200 AD. Okay. Right. So, mm. It had have been further back, so we got to understand that. So I think that that verse is very important. You know that they read that one. bear witness. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Read that bear witness, and they're separating them there. So I think that's a very interesting one right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's another scripture that says, "On the testimony of two or two or three witnesses, let a thing be so established." Yes. Right. Is that not true? That's true, yep. right? Yes, sir. And, and and so and we. By the way, our courts of law requires those law. things. OK, mm -hmm. at least at least in the you know, even the world tries to tries to at least hold to some truths when they try to hold the truths. And there's no mm -hmm. getting around it. If you want the truth, you have to adhere to the to the source of all truth. 
You yeah. do. Mm-hmm. Right. And and uh, you know? guys, I love you guys, but I got to go to work, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I no, gotta, actually, I got to go. get going, too. Yeah, I got to leave by 630. This is heck of good. I think we, I think mm-hmm. we crushed it. I think we we wrapped everything around. Uh, any last words, guys? Before we get off, I got probably like five minutes before I gotta roll out. Uh, any last words, Darius? Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I would just like there, there was one scripture. I'd, I'll just uh, briefly speak on in John eight uh, fifty six fifty nine. Jesus calls himself God. Basically, when the Jews picked up the stones uh, to stone him, he says, "Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am." So they picked up stones to throw at him. They knew that Jesus was claiming to be. The I am that was spoken of in Exodus three fourteen, uh, when when Moses asked him, well, "Who should I say sent me?" And he was like, uh, "The great I am." Jesus right here is claiming to be God, and also um, my last one I'll go on. Uh, John five eighteen it says, "This was the Jews who were seeking all the more to kill him because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but oh, he bro. was even calling God his own father, uh, make." Uh, hold on. King himself <laughs> with God. So right there. All right, we kind of got we kind of got the gist of it. Good. I think it was yeah yeah it was yeah just, something you know, something's up with the internet. Yeah, it just started okay. yeah, it, it froze. Okay. A little bit. It's Sorry, right, you guys see me now? You guys see? Yeah, me yeah, now? yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, okay. go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I, I was just um talking about when they, they were trying to kill Jesus because he claimed uh, Amen, right, the I am. That's it. The Jews picked up the stones, right? Yeah. If you're a believer in the New Testament, you believe in Jesus. You believe in you believe. That's it. He says that right. I am. Okay, right. so before Abraham, and, Abraham, I am. Before, yeah, before Abraham, Abraham, I am. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then in John five eighteen, it's the last one. It says, "This is why the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own Father, making himself equal with equal. God." And equal. that's what and that's what it is. Right if there. you call yourself a son of God in in the Hebrew, right. you're you're saying you are equal with God. Well, not not God, only the that, above them. yeah. Not only that, the firstborn in Hebrew understandings gets a double portion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Jesus so, is the first begotten. He's the first. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Alpha and Omega. He yes. says he can forgive <laughs> sins. He receives worship, all that. So, guys, I'd like to thank you guys, Josh, for having me again. This was awesome. We we could have been here for hours doing this because oh, there's so much sure. me. I, I, I love you guys. So, man. um, on, on behalf of the U.G.L.Yeshua, that's you can find us on YouTube. And again, um, I'm Darius JCITB TV Giles. That's Jesus Christ is the best Giles. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that. So, Josh, again, thank you for having me. I appreciate you guys. And uh, Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, so Amen. I pray Amen. for the salvation. I pray for the salvation of all all, all non-believers, man. And if, if you're on the fence and, and living a lukewarm life, I pray that you truly repent and give yourself back to you, Lord, and go back to your first love. Love you guys. All right. Love you too. Love you too man. All right, David. Our Jesus yeah, I, you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the scripture says that there's no other name given unto men under heaven by which we must be saved that name Amen. is jesus christ of nazareth jesus Amen. yeshua hamashiach jesus messiah the jesus of the bible okay and Amen. and and that's that's what just keeps going through my mind there there is there is no other way to the father okay and and it is through his only begotten son and and i want to encourage you if you don't know him it is actually very easy to just ask Amen. jesus to to make himself known to you it, 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 I, even even the, those around Jesus said, "Help our unbelief." And so, so ask, call upon Jesus Christ to come into Amen. your heart, to make Himself known to you, so that you can know this Jesus that we talk about. Okay, it, it will not only change your life now, but it changes your eternal destination. Mm. And and that and that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Mm-hmm. So listen, I'm David Beverly, Jesus Freak Computer Geek. I've got a book that just came out, The Coming Flood of AI, The Rise of the Nephilim Spirits. You can if you just type flood of AI in Amazon, it'll come up. Okay. And I have a website, floodofai.com, that'll also take you there. So floodofai.com. And listen, God bless you all. I love you all. It was Awesome. I, 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 mm-hmm. If it was nighttime, I wouldn't be able to go to sleep right now. I'm charging. <laughs> <you. laughs> yes. All right. J- Jason, any last words, bro? I uh, just want to say uh, thank you guys for coming on. Uh, it's uh, This was a really good, really good, uh, really good study. Really good for me. But I want to end it with uh, Isaiah uh, chapter six. I think it's chapter six, verse eight. 
where he says, um, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Mm. And I said, here am I. So be that, here am I, all right? Be that, Mm -hmm. when he calls upon you, be that, be that, be that, here am I guy, okay? So God bless everybody, and and thank you for guys, for everything you guys uh, brought some new light to my, my, my mind. And uh, now, yeah. now I can go back and actually, you know, I need because I, I still need to get some stuff right with the Holy Spirit in my life. So let's uh, let's do this. This is awesome. Good job, guys. All right, man. All right, now everybody, this is all I gotta say right here. Okay, I think I already mentioned it before, but in Revelations one eight, Jesus says, "I am Alpha Omega, the beginning and ending." Say the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. That's Jesus speaking, and this mm-hmm. is in heaven. John is in heaven and Jesus is saying yeah. this. Okay. Every knee will bow. Okay. We got, we got yes. Jesus receiving, you know, religious worship, please guys mm-hmm. just study the word and understand. And this is no offense to anybody. That's a oneness, Pentecostal oneness, Unitarian, any of that stuff. We're just trying to do our best to go through the scriptures, study to sell thyself approved. This is what we believe. And we're not shoving it down anybody's throat. We're just showing you guys what we so uh, that Holy Spirit has shown us in the scripture, yes. okay? Amen. That God has shown us. So don't be offended in the comment section. If you want to leave what you believe, then I it's all good. But what yeah. we want to say is check out everybody's stuff, you know. Uh check out check out all their stuff that they mentioned. I'll, I'll have everything linked in the bottom. If you guys could please share this podcast, share their podcast with everybody that's listening. I'm sure they're gonna have this on their page. Um, this is Josh Monday Music and Podcast on YouTube. If you guys want to check us out. Um, and also I always like to end this in prayer. So let's do that. Mm. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we appreciate you, Lord. Thank you so much for showing us, um, you know, the Godhead, you know, and we're trying to get it right, Lord. We're doing our best. And I just pray that, um, you know, but all these gentlemen, you know, send a legion of angels to protect them as yes. they're, uh, and also, uh, we want to pray for David's book. Let that get in the hands of everybody that needs it, Lord, you know, who needs it. And you know that we're having this, uh, this change of technology and, 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 uh, I know that that Damian or demon means intelligence, and these are artificial intelligence. So they're making artificial bodies, Lord, and it could be demons that they're putting into these uh, these uh, entities or these bodies. So we want to make sure that everybody is is aware of this. So if you could let let his book flourish and get to as many people that needs to hear it, um, and let uh, everybody that's on this panel, uh, please, like I said, say you know keep their families safe, and and Lord, please be with them. And and if there's anything that we need to get right, Lord, get it right. And anybody that's listening right now if they need to get something right in their life uh lord i want you to supernaturally uh break the chains that they have that's holding them back from being true believers or walking with you we don't want anybody to be lukewarm lord and we want to make sure that we know you we don't want we don't want you know jesus to say that he never knew us so show us how to know you so please help us with that lord we love you so much and we appreciate you in jesus name amen. amen 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 Thank you guys so much. You guys did an amazing job and I hope everybody is blessed by this, this message. God bless you.